Hi. Hello? We're representatives of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Mormons. Our prophets have sent us to deliver a message given from God. Prophets? Message? Yes. We're here to tell you that God appeared to the prophet Joseph Smith in 1820, and he chose Joseph to restore the truth. He did. Yes, God told him Christianity had become completely corrupt. So, you guys aren't Christians then? Oh heavens, yes, we're Christians. After all, the name of our religion is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But you just said Christianity was all wrong. It is, but because of Joseph Smith, we know ours is the only true church on the earth. So, what's so bad about Christianity? Well, you see, everything you know about God is basically wrong. First of all, God is not a spirit. He's a perfected man with a glorified body of flesh. Huh? We believe a long, long time ago, on a planet far, far away, our God, Heavenly Father, was just like us. He was born mortal. Eventually, his efforts were rewarded, and he was exalted to Godhood, joining the other millions of gods in the universe. Millions of other gods. Yep. Maybe even billions. Oh, that hurt. Oh, sorry. As he grew up, he worked hard at becoming perfect, just like all other gods did before him. Today, Heavenly Father lives on a distant planet. Next to the star, Kolob. He lives there with our Heavenly Mother having spirit babies. That's us. Yes, that's us. We all live there as spirits before we were born. We just don't remember. We come here to Earth to get a chance to work towards perfecting ourselves, so that we'll be worthy enough to be exalted as gods. So you're saying you're going to become a god? Well, well, yeah, I hope so. And just what do you mean by perfect yourselves? Well, we have to be completely faithful and obedient to our church and its rules. Rules? Well, just a few. Basically, just no drinking, no smoking, no gambling or swearing, no coffee. Or tea. No watching rated R movies, fornication, stealing, or lying. No shopping on Sundays. Dress modestly. Go to three hours of church every Sunday. Read the scriptures. Believe in Joseph Smith. Get baptized. Give 10% of your income to the church. Don't question the leaders. Serve in the church. And most importantly, temple, temple work. work. Temples? Is that what you call your churches? No, no. Temples are special buildings used only for secret ceremonies and rituals that are needed for godhood. So what do you do in these temples? Well, first we get anointed as kings and priests in heaven. Then we receive special holy underwear that we must wear for the rest of our lives. Uh... Special holy underwear? Yes, special because they have sacred symbols on them that give us protection. Then we're given a new name, the one that we're going to be called in heaven. Then we're taught signs and passwords called tokens. We have to memorize them to be allowed into Heavenly Father's presence. If we show the signs to the guardian angels and tell them the passwords, they might let us in. And if we've earned it, then we will become exalted as gods. And can start creating and populating our own worlds. So just what is the secret sign and password? We, we, we can't tell you. We swear oaths not to talk about them. So they're secret? No, no, they're sacred. But you can't tell me? Right. Then that's a secret. Well, fine, it's a sacred secret. Mm-hmm. So what you're saying is the only people who become gods are Mormons. What about everyone else who died hundreds of years before your temples were even built? Well, that's the best part. We do all of the ceremonies on behalf of those dead people, so it will count for them in the afterlife. Yeah, we get baptized for the dead, do the signs and passwords for the dead, and even do marriage ceremonies for the dead. Did I say something wrong?